Hey everyone, it's Mr. Drillish again and I'm back here with another quick stream tip video. Now today's video is for everyone who likes to use a Logitech C920 or C922 or basically any other Logitech webcam when you are streaming within OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Now I'm pretty sure you are all familiar with this terrible interface to tweak your webcam video and webcam video output but I'm going to show you today there's a much better and easier way to control your webcam feed to make it look good make it look pretty and most of all make it so that it doesn't forget your settings the next time you boot up your PC or OBS because let's face it we've all been there where all of a sudden all your settings are gone annoying as hell now first of all I would like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video namely my new website mrdrillishes.com it's live right now so go ahead check it out the link is down here in the description there's a blog there's a landing page and you can see my PC setup and all the games that I've completed and there's gonna be lots more in the future so check it out mrdrillishes.com live right now and of course as always if you like this kind of video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get a notification anytime I put up a new video on the channel. Now without further ado, let's jump into our PC so I can show you how to do this. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are within OBS and as you can see I got my full screen webcam on so you can see very well the things that we're going to change and the effects that it's going to have on your webcam. Now first of all I want to show you the difference that it can make between having some good settings and just having the default settings of your webcam out of the box. So these, this is me with my proper lighting setup and my proper settings on stream. Now if I change this to the default settings, look at the difference that that makes. I'm completely blown out, I'm zoomed out, you can see the background very well and there's just no contrast whatsoever. My light is too bright everything is just not the way it should be and there's so much more you can take out of this webcam if you actually take the time to set these settings properly so that's something we're going to do now however if you don't have the g-hub software you first need to go to the link in the description download the g-hub software from there install it on your pc and then once you've done that we can actually jump into it and i'm going to show you how to set it up okay so once you've set up the logitech g-hub software if you're going to boot it you're going to be presented with this screen Again, like I showed you just now, by default, it's going to be set differently. So let's set it to the default settings. and I'm going to show you how you can tweak it just so it looks good for you. Now, of course, you can't just always take these numbers exactly the way I use them because they are, of course, set with my setup, with my lighting, my light that I got coming in with my windows. So please make sure that you use this as a guideline, but then, of course, tweak it so it looks good in your specific setup. All right, so let's set everything back to the default mode. And you can see in this screen exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna set everything back to default here. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click this button and then set add new camera mode. Now this this is all in Dutch, so please forgive me for that, but just click on this button, it should be down here. And then you got a new camera mode. From there, we're going to set a few basic settings. So if you feel that maybe you're showing a little bit too much of your background, of course, you are the star of your stream. So you need to make sure that you are in focus and that people can see you well, even on tiny mobile screens. So make sure that once you see your full webcam size, or even if you have a main gaming screen where your webcam is going to be smaller in view, make sure that the audience can see you properly. There's a little bit of contrast between you and the background and that they can see your facial features well. So let's zoom in just a little bit. All right, that looks good. Then you can, you have two settings over here, the sharpness and the lighting. Now I like to set these myself manually because I always stream in the same situation. I always close my blinds and I always have my light turned on. So I always have the same setup for my stream. However, if you have a different setup, maybe you can't close the blinds, maybe you have a window. Sometimes you stream in the daylight, sometimes you stream at night. You might want to set this back to automatic, especially the lighting one, the lower one over here, so that it will make sure that every time you stream with the lights on, with the lights off, it will look good. Now, of course, automatic is not magic, so it might not look always exactly the same like you wanted it to. However, if you don't want to go in to this tool every single time that you're going to stream, automatic is probably the best way to go for you. If you do, however, like myself, have a setup that doesn't change that much, please change this yourself. So for the lighting, I think I'm a little bit lit too much. There we go. We're going to show. So as you can see, you know, there's a lot of color that is gone now. We're going to add this later, but I think this looks already a lot better. I'm not overexposed and it looks good. Sharpness, I think we might add a little bit here. Let's see where I am actually in focus. Going all the way back. There we go. I think so all the way back. I think that looks good. All right, so that's it. And this is now saved. So every time 
your PC boots, this will keep, this will stay the same. You can always change between your different setups, but by default, it will be set to this specific setup. So next time you're gonna boot up your PC, you don't have to change these settings and your webcam will look just like this. Now let's go into the video tab, because that's where we're gonna actually have some fun. So let's add a new filter, again, the button down here. And you can see that all these options suddenly show up. So the first thing, I'm gonna translate these for you. You got brightness over here, contrast, sharpness, white balance, and then saturation over here. Then we've got anti-flicker here as well, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, depending on your monitor, but usually 60 hertz works just as well. Now, first things, let's just move from top to bottom. Brightness, I think we are actually good. We might wanna raise that a little bit. Not too much though, especially since we're going to work with the contrast later on. So let's add a little bit of contrast. There we go, that's good. And of course, this is all very personal. So maybe you like it very contrasty, maybe you don't like contrast at all. This is very personal, this is just the way I like to do it. Well, I'm just going to show you how you can make these settings so you can set them up and fine tune them just the way you like it. All right, so adding a bit of contrast here. I like that. So also that makes sure that I am separated from the background a little bit more. White balance, you can set that to automatic or you can just set that manually. Usually with white balance, I always like to set it to automatic. However, if you want to do it manually, you can always do that. One thing that you can do is get a piece of paper or anything that is white, hold that up to the camera and once you slide around and you can see that it's actually pure white, especially the shadow. So if we lose, leave this, you can see that there's a little bit of a yellow U here on the paper. So make sure that you slide it around until that yellow U is gone and the entire paper looks pure white. It might be a little bit of a fine tuning. There we go. I think that is getting close to where we want to be. There we go. I think that's good. I think that's good. Again, if you set it to automatic, that usually does the trick just as well. But if you like to manually fine tune things, you can always do that here. All right. And then last, we have saturation. I'm going to change that a little bit too. If you overdo that, like I do here, you see that your entire face will probably blow out, get too bright or get too red. Everything else gets a little bit blown out, but you do want to play around with this just a little bit because you don't want to be underexposed because or undersaturated because then of course you got grayscale. So do play around with your saturation just the way that you like it. I think that's kind of good. And then once you do this, you probably feel like, hmm, maybe that doesn't necessarily look as good as it did before. That might be true because you want to just go ahead and tweak this again a little bit more. Maybe add a little bit more brightness, add a bit more contrast, lower the brightness perhaps. See, there we go. That's, that's more like it. So maybe we want to lower the brightness in my case. And then again, lower the contrast as well. And then maybe up the saturation. And you might also want to go back into your camera mode to make sure that maybe your lighting is better so we can increase that a little bit maybe. So this might be too much. Going back here, lower the brightness. There we go. That's getting slowly getting more like it. Lowering a little bit of contrast. And maybe add a bit of saturation. Just a little bit. There we go. See, and this is already, I feel this already kind of looks good. Again, you can play with the sharpness too. We haven't actually touched that, but I think if you do that over here, you don't necessarily have to do it a lot over here. But of course you can do that if you want to, if you feel that you are not necessarily very in focus or if you want to sharpen yourself up a little bit. I'm thinking I looked good the way it was. But for me, I, th I think these settings are already pretty well. If we look back at the way they were, I think it's a huge improvement to over what we had just now. Now again, these settings are all very personal and very specific to your situation, to your setup. So make sure you play around with them a little bit, go back and forth between the camera and the video tab and tweak the settings as you go. Make sure that you first open OBS so your webcam is being recognized within OBS and then you open up the G-Hub software. Otherwise your webcam is gonna be used within the G-Hub software and you won't see anything in OBS, which is of course the place where everything is gonna happen. So you wanna make sure that it looks good over there. And there you have it. Again, a very easy and simple way to make sure your webcam looks good within OBS but most of all it keeps using these settings the next time you boot up your PC or OBS so you don't have to set it up every time again with the annoying old-fashioned interface that you used to probably use in OBS Studio. Now of course you can make things look pretty good within the G-Hub software itself but if you want to take things to the next level I got a pro tip for you that will make things look even better.
Now with this pro tip you do need to spend a little bit of money but one thing that I can definitely advise you to do is get a good set of lights. Now a webcam can only do so much but if you light yourself properly you can make things look so much better than without any lights. Now the lights that I got over here are the Agado key lights. They are a little bit expensive but you do get a lot of flexibility and control with that. However if you don't have that kind of budget you can always go on Amazon or eBay. You can find some simple and very cheap ring lights you can find them for maybe 20 bucks 30 bucks something like that and they will do the trick just as well just make sure that you set them up correctly in front of you directly so you don't cause any shadows on the side of your face trust me if you do that your webcam feed on stream will look so much better however if you just set up everything within the g-hub software and after that you decide to get a lamp make sure to go back into the g-hub look at it again and look at your settings because maybe you have to tweak a few things after adding the new light to your setup and that's it that's the end of the video and the end of this tutorial on how you can make your webcam look pretty and beautiful with the Logitech G Hub software without losing your settings every time you reboot or restart OBS Studio. Now again as I've mentioned before if you like these kind of videos please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for any notifications whenever a new video is being put up. If you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos you can always find me on Twitter and on Discord and I stream every Monday, Tuesday and Friday over on Twitch. So if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I'm always happy to help. Or if you'd like you can just go down here in the comments on YouTube and I will be happy to assist you over there. And if you have anything you would like to know yourself, any tips for future quick stream tip videos, don't hesitate to let me know in one of the channels listed down below as well. Now with that all that is left for me to say is my name is Mr. Delicious. You guys are all very delicious yourself. Good luck, happy streaming and I'll hopefully see you again in the next video. Is this the last, the last bit? The last floor? I think it is. I think it is chat. I think it's the last floor. Three eliminated! No! No! Oh my god, I was the last! Wait, did I win?